Tech Tour on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by Dow AgroSciences, bringing customer-first innovations to the field. Sean Haney here with RealAgriculture.com for another episode of the Tech Tour brought to you by Dow AgroSciences Canada. And today we are at Agritechnica in Hanover, Germany, and I am joined right now by... Benedict Schäfer from The Kron Company. Yeah, well, welcome. You're enjoying the show? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty lot of people here today. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. yeah. The Farmers Club is packed. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about... Uh, now, we have posted a story about this new machine. Right. Uh, it's very innovative. So on the tech tour, what we do is we talk to companies that have new products, innovations that bring more efficiency and productivity to the farm. Yeah. And this gives you a lot of flexibility. Right. So tell us a little bit about it. So that's uh, the Primus 5000. It's uh, the first mobile pelletizer in the world. Everybody knows the stationary pelletizer with this machine. You can do the straw pellets directly in the field. Um, it's a machine we tried out to see what the market will do. And the demand of the machine is huge. Everybody is uh, interesting in it. Yeah. Everybody is demanding for it. Everybody is asking. And it's, the interest is, is huge. Yeah. So is it just the fact it's mobile? Like what, what is driving this? Like we were by here yesterday and today. And it, it, there's a lot of people looking at it. And it's not doing anything. It's just sitting here. Right. It, I think it's just the fact it's doing pellets on the way, on, on the go. That's it. That's a totally new machine. Uh, we have never seen before in the market and Germany is always, was always a, a country driven by new technologies. So I think that's why especially the Germans or the Europeans are very interested in that new machine, you know. Yeah, clear, clearly if you could do the pellets on the go, you're being more efficient not having to haul them to a stationary uh, that's it. pelletizer. The, the, how you call it, the density, the density is, is approximately tripled. When you compare a straw or a bale of straw compared to the same amount of volume in pellets. So the density is about 700 kilos per cubic meter and that's a lot. That makes it much more economic to transport it. Okay, so this is how the machine works. We can see it here on the picture. We start in the front of the machine. We have a two-specker roller which gives you a steady and controlled crop flow. Then we have the pickup which will bring in the crop in on the transition belt. The transition belt will feed the two press or the matrix rollers, see how you can see it here. These two rollers, they have the, the holes with 16 millimeter diameter in that roller. So the crop mat <coughs> will be packed and the pellet will go inside the roller. Then you have an auger, the auger will bring it to the side of the machine. Then we have a conveyor belt or an inboard auger which will bring up the, the pallet. Here we have a CF, CF drum which you can see on top of the machine. And with that CF drum you bring it into the pallet bunker. The CF will help to get out all the small particles and bring it back on the conveyor belt to pull it in the next pallet which will come. Inside the rollers here, we create the pellets with a lot of heat and a lot of pressure. So these pellets are made with 2000 bars pressure and that gives you a temperature of about 80 degrees. And that packs the pellets. You need some moisture to do it. So you need the moisture to create the pellet. If the straw or the hay or the alfalfa is too dry, we can put on some water to help the pellets to, to get a pellet. Yeah. So the, the flow the flow of the, the swath into the machine is critical. Yeah, it's critical. You have to make sure that you have an even even crop flow. Yeah, just because it's it's a continuous process and you don't want any any yeah piles of straw in, in the machine, you know, because that will yeah create problems. Very quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> when you can imagine that I mean you put a tractor in front. 350, 400 horsepower to run the machine. I mean, it's always, it's, it's all about speed. That's it. If you put more horsepower in front, the faster you can go. So, t uh, sorry, how fast do you usually typically drive it? It depends. The average capacity is about five tons per hour. Five tons per hour. So, Canadian fields, wherever you go, I don't know, but five tons an hour that gives you about speed of three to five kilometers an hour. 
So what do, what do you think the plan is? Is it a plan to expand the, the line and more di different size models? or? I don't think different size models. We have enough with this model. Yeah. I think the, the demand is there and we just see what the market will do. Better call the factory and increase yeah. the production. Yeah, speed up production, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us on the tech tour and enjoy no the problem. rest of the show. No problem, thank you.